Hey guys, Candy Muck up here, and uh, today I'm doing another custom Lego minifig, uh, I guess, showcase video. Um, now, all of these are characters that I've already previously made, but I've decided that they look like absolute crap. And being, I've gotten a lot better at making minifig customs, I decided to revisit these characters and, uh, you know sort of make up for the horrible excuse that I called them as their characters um, so they looked really bad and that's the one reason uh, it's one of the main reasons that I wanted to redo them all um, and by all I mean 95% of them there's only like one figure that I did not redo um, being uh, Jay Garrick but yeah, uh, let's get into it. First figure we have right here is my original uh, Flash minifig or uh, Barry Allen. Um, there he is. Uh, let me sort of reset the camera, or not camera, the lighting uh, to get this better. And there we go. Um, so, this is the original Flash minifig that I had. Or, you know, Barry Allen. Um, so, here he is. Doesn't look too bad. Um, if you take sort of this modified Batman cowl off, you see you got this weird face on there. Um, that's how it was originally. I was like, oh, hey. It'll be great if I just, you know, draw the design on there and it'll be fine. But then afterwards I decided I'd go with the cow and then it didn't turn out too well. It looked pretty bad. So this guy I definitely thought was one of the more important ones to redo. So here is the newer one. Um, it is a uh, significant improvement, um, I think over the original um, I think overall it just looks a lot better uh, the backs of these figures as you could probably tell I usually don't do the backs because I usually don't look at the backs but some of these I decided to do that um, the face here is also a lot better it wraps all the way around and everything um, now you might think, uh, yeah, that is better, but can't really tell that much. Well, here they are next to each other. Um, and I think when they're next to each other, you can definitely see the huge <laughs> differences uh, between the two. And uh, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job on sort of redoing this figure. Now on to the next one, which is the... Reverse Flash. Okay, so I don't have the original head that I used uh, for the my original Reverse Flash. Um, I don't have it anymore. I don't know what happened to it. So I just sort of put this red head here uh, since I have all the other parts. And uh, another reason I wanted to redo this figure was because it was inaccurate. Uh, the legs are completely inaccurate, and with the newer one that I did, they were also inaccurate because I used this originally as the uh, reference for that one. And as you can see, the legs are also really loose, so that would have turned out bad anyway. But, instead of this guy, we replaced it with the much better one, which is this guy. It's also more accurate in the legs. Uh, you might not be able to tell so I do have to move the camera back move the light down but it also tilted up and you can see he does in fact have a mouth under there um, right there there's his mouth boop um, torso design is way better uh, the back is just black because I didn't know what the 
back looked like, but I decided I would go with a different approach for the cowl, and I think that really sort of made this figure uh, as cool as it is, and if you take that cowl off, it just sort of has a mad expression with red eyes. Same with Barry, it almost goes all the way around. I uh, got kind of lazy with that one, because, you know, the back of the cowl kind of, you know, covers up that space anyway, so I thought, so I, uh, I just thought, eh, why do we need that? Um, same thing with Barry. Probably like, okay, it looks better, but where's the comparison? So here it is, the original. I think, in my opinion, it's a huge, huge improvement of what, whoops, <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, um, huge, in yeah, oh, oh, crap, okay, oh, son of, okay, we'll fix this, okay, so there you go, I uh, fixed it, so they won't fall off, and they have plenty of room, but you could definitely see, uh, I think I did a really good job of fixing that, so, now that we've taken a look at Reverse Flash, we can take a look at the next one, which is Zoom. Now this original Zoom left a lot to be desired. Um, it looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, uh, the main reason, I think, for being that is instead of using anything else I thought it'd be a good idea because I didn't really have any other options other than using uh, silver nail polish and being I didn't have any fine point brushes I was stuck with using the brush for the nail polish and it didn't turn out good really at all uh, this is the one I wanted to redo the most in fact it actually started with this one and then I modified, or not modified, but uh, made new versions of the others as well. Because this one sort of opened my eyes to just how bad these old ones were. And the thing was, I think I actually put this one on YouTube, and uh, it's horrible. As you can see, some of the black paint has even chipped off of the Batman cowl. Because um, originally, I did something similar as the flash here um where i decided i was going to use a batman cowl and modify it uh so i sculpted you know the little lines as mask and everything and can you even pull the mask off oh, there we go uh under the mask is a uh, stormtrooper pilot uh but that's just really bad and um taking him away uh, thankfully, we have the new one, which I think is way, way better than the original. Um, so here's the new one. Uh, he still has the marks in the mask. So I went on a completely different road with this new zoom. Because I realized that the Batman cowl was just not working with any of the figures I was doing it with. And, um, I decided to go with a Ninjago mask. So, I went to town on it, just sanding the crap out of it. Um, just taking off all the bumps and even the back knot and everything. And the sides and the front and everything. Until I finally got this, which I then cut into to make the little lines. Or, I guess, they're like gashes in his mask i don't know what they're really intended for maybe for talking the head is hard to get out but it's just a white head colored black with a little bit of white dots there just for the eyes um so if we move him over oops the stain came apart um and we compare him to the original you can see just how much work has been put into this new one compared to the old one. The old one just... No. <laughs> the old one just looks really, really bad. And I'm really happy with the way the new one turned out. It's probably one of my favorite ones out of all the customers.
of the minifigs that I've made. And uh, so, yeah, I think I did pretty good with that. And uh, if you've gotten this far in the video, you will be getting sort of a little, uh, I guess, treat, if you consider it that. A sneak peek, not really a sneak peek, just a before view, before I actually uh, do another video, because I do have numerous, I have, at the moment I have three other minifigures that I finished, uh, custom minifigs. Because I, I, it usually doesn't take me that long to make custom minifigs, so I can usually pump them out pretty quick. Um, it just depends on how I'm feeling at the time, like how fast I can do it, if dependent on how I feel about it. Um, but anyway, if you've stuck through this whole video up to this point, you get a little bit of a sneak peek before he gets his own, I guess, longer segment in the custom minifig video that will come later. This is Black Flash, which uh, is what Zoom actually became if you uh, watched all of season two. So same technique for Black Flash here. I uh, took the uh, Ninjago mask and just sanded the crap out of it, uh, painted it black, I even cut the little half here from where Barry rips his mask, and then the, um, I don't, I think they're like time wraiths, I think that's what they're called, but they come out of the portal, and they take him away, turn him into the zombie looking thing, and his face is under there, and it looks weird, um, but yeah, and we're also going to compare it to the zoom, just so you can see. They're, uh, they're not actually that similar, other than the whole, like, head dealio going on here. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below to show me that you did. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to also hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any new content from the channel. And I'll see you guys later.